It's getting hot out here. Just need to pull in somewhere cool. <laughs> yeah. Any chance of sleeping in a nice room tonight? Yes, I'm certain we can secure... ...suitable accommodation. nearby. What's wrong? I let you down. I never made it to Kayem. The Empire came while you were gone. None of us said a word about Noct. They just showed up and then... <sighs> Poor Jared. What do you mean? What happened to Jared? There was nothing we could do! Empire get away with it. They'll pay for what they've done. I promise. I believe in you, Prince Noctis. <laughs> I'm taking Talcott, and we're going to Kayim. We. We can't just stay here and do nothing. <laughs> I understand.
I can't let her go it alone after everything that went down. It'll be a squeeze in the car, but just for a while. Shall we then? Yeah, I don't want to keep Sid and Cindy waiting. They're fixing up the boat as we speak. We ought to thank them. Actually, Jared's the one we ought to thank. Yeah. He really thought of everything. Filled her up for you. Thanks. Ready to roll? Let's get this show on the road. Let's hit it. Sure. Looking at the regalia really reminds me of home. It sure doesn't look like any of the cars you see around here. And it's a lot roomier, too. I can't imagine trying to cram five people, including Gladdy, into one of those things. Have you ever ridden in one? Can't say we have. There was barely enough room for our luggage. Thank goodness you guys could give me a lift. Think the others made it to Kayam all right? I suppose we'll find out when we get there. of Ravito. I'm like 90% sure. Not 100. You almost know your stuff. All thanks to Jared. <laughs> Thank you for driving, Ignis. Pleasure. Are you the only one that drives? I can drive. And so can I. It's not like Iggy's the only one who can drive. He's just the only one we can trust. Wow, are they that bad? Not bad at all, right? Right. But there's no way the big guy's taking any chances with his little sister in the car. Sure you don't need a break. I'm okay. You are sandwiched in back there. Have Prompto suffer instead. Really, it's fine. No suffering here. If you say so. Got some bad news, guys! Oh, great. Another floating fortress. Let's pull over. Uh, knocked. Relax. We've got this.
Taking matters into hand? Delivering justice for Jared. And for Talcott, too. Iris, I'll need you to wait here. All right. Careful, Noct. Only fools rush in. I suggest we review our intelligence and devise a plan. this far out. Leave no plot of land unconquered. Those aren't conquering numbers. Likely building a supply line it would behoove us to cut. can be deceiving. We beat them once. They won't make it easy this time. And neither will we. You think Iris is doing all right? She is all alone. Hmm. She's a big girl. She'll be fine. Iris isn't exactly a bring em on backstreet brawler, is she? Well, she's tough, but I'd feel better if we got this over with and got back on the road. Sounds like you're having fun. So, what's our plan? Find the base commander and take him into custody. 
Targeting metal men will yield little in the way of reconnaissance, but bones bend easily. We'll split into two groups of two. Prompto and Gladio will generate a diversion. Ah, oh, yeah. Making a scene's what I do best. Knocked. Are you prepared? Operation to catch a commander is go. 